Hey, what's up everybody? Today I just want to talk about how you can set up all of your recording equipment, just the basic stuff, uh, how to set up your interface, how to connect your, uh, your monitors to the interface, and how to get the interface and the monitors showing up inside of your GarageBand or whatever you're using. And then uh, also if you don't have monitors that uh, go directly into your interface, I'm going to be talking about these. These are USB speakers. These are Alesis USB monitors. So let's look at it. This is an interface. They come in all different sizes, shapes, bigger and smaller. But this is the one I'm using. And... Usually when uh, you get your monitors, they'll have, uh, you'll have your quarter inch cable going directly into the back of this right here. It's super simple and there's going to be a section, just look on the back of your interface. The smaller ones are easy, to, it might say main, left and right. Just make sure you match them up with your monitors. Once you've got that done, turn them on, everything, and then we'll look inside of GarageBand to see how to recognize them and get them set up. Okay, so once you're inside of GarageBand, you've started your new project and everything, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to up here, it's going to say GarageBand click on this you'll go to preferences uh, there's gonna be general tab audio loops we're gonna click on audio slash MIDI audio output and audio input audio output this is the sound coming out of GarageBand where do you where this is what we're selecting where is it coming out of here are my options. I'm using DigiDesign uh, 003. That is my interface. So if I have my monitors connected to my interface, they should be coming out. And that's that's where it's going to come out. But it now I have I also have a USB so I'm going to plug that in and then and then that's going to come up and everything just changed see but see it's all still on the list for output you wouldn't want your input to be your your monitors see my USB monitors I don't want that to be your input you always want that to be your interface that's the sound coming in if you're recording with your microphone you're recording with your uh, you, want, you want a guitar directly in there if you're going a keyboard directly into your interface you're going in, in your sounds going into GarageBand you want your interface so let's say I'm using my DigiDesign. It's going to change. That's going in, but my output is going to be my USB speaker. So anytime during your recording process you want to change uh, monitors, you have multiple monitors you want to change, you go up here to Audio Output. There's also stuff you can buy to change quickly. It's, it's hardware, but I obviously don't have that. So I hope this helped you guys and you can have a good day.